Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the most important reason that wearing primer is fatally flawed, in my view, is that if you're wearing primer, you're probably not wearing sunscreen at all or indeed using it properly. Primer is after all a makeup item and therefore is applied for cosmetic reasons. On the other hand, sunscreen is applied like a medicine at a dose to deliver the promised level of protection on the tube. Aha, but my primer has SPF 15 in it, you'll tell me. That doesn't mean anything when it comes to everyday protection against the aging UVA rays that make our skin slacken, that make our pores enlarge, that cause premature aging. So my advice to you is to invest your money smartly in a sunscreen that primes. I'm gonna say it again, a sunscreen that primes. Formulations are so sophisticated now, there really is no good reason not to be able to find a product that's primary purpose is to protect your skin and your precious elastin that has a secondary benefit as a primer. The primer, on the other hand, with secondary benefits for sun protection just isn't going to stack up. So then following on from that, say you did have the grand intention of using both primer and SPF in your routine on a regular basis. It's just so darn challenging from a time perspective and also from an application perspective. So you've cleansed, maybe you've serumed, then you've moisturized. Now you would do sunscreen, then primer, then base. That is a lot of steps, especially if you're using your sunscreen correctly, which of course you should be doing. So that's your dose, 1.25 mLs, three pumps of flawless daily sunscreen, for instance, it's a lot of product and you really have to be committed to making that habit work for you every single day for it to happen. You then factor in primer, hoping it goes on smoothly, and then you apply your, your makeup on top of that. It's just a lot of potential for error. And the thing is to apply a primer carefully, you really have to spread it all over the skin. Again, that's quite a lot of traction on the skin and potentially you might upset the application of the layer of sunscreen underneath. The benefit of using makeup on top of sunscreen is you can apply it with a beauty blender, which presses it into the skin without any of the kind of rotational movement, which I think can potentially compromise your SPF layer. So the bottom line, if a habit isn't sustainable and doesn't serve you and your skin health long-term, I question its need. The next reason I'm a bit cynical about primers is because foundations are now so utterly amazing in their formulas that I really think that the idea that you also need an additional product to make it last, to make it sit nice in your skin, just seems wrong. I mean, the likes of Pat McGrath and Surratt are creating beautiful bases that are designed to last. So why isn't it enough to just have moisturizer and sunscreen underneath? Why isn't primer redundant? My final thought on primers is really a philosophical one, that if it's all about luminosity and achieving that glow, do the work, sort your skincare out, make your skin glow in its natural state, because P.S. a real glow beats a fake one anytime. As in everything in life though, of course, there are exceptions to the rule, and if you have a very special big night out red carpet, you're getting married, and primer makes you feel that little bit extra, go for it. I just want to present a perspective on something as an everyday necessity, which is certainly a lot of what we hear about how important it is in terms of making your makeup look right and last. Um, and you know, my feeling is overall, it's a little bit of Emperor's New Clothes, that with the right skincare choices and your skin in its best possible natural state with makeup as a, a tool for embellishment, rather than a sort of layer of armor that you will look your best self um, and save some money. What do you think? Tell me how you feel about primers. Bye for now.